Hello students, welcome back. The question is from GATE 2016 exam. They are asking what will be the time complexity of a carry look head adder. If the AND and OR gates that we are going to use have a fan and OFF too. Okay. So you can see carry look head adder requires these three steps to be performed. Step 1 is generating all the carry generates and carry propagates. If you are trying to add n bit numbers, that means this is a n bit carry look head generator. In that case, all n carry generates, that means all the GIs will require n AND gates, all the PIs will require n XOR gates. Okay. But the thing is, all of these two n gates are working in parallel, that means in single level only all GIs and PIs will be available. So this is a constant time operation. Next step is use the values of GIs and PIs to generate the actual carries. Okay, you can see the formulas for C1, C2, C3, C4 are written. In question they are mentioning that we are trying to add n bit numbers. Okay, similarly you can write C5, C6, C7, C8 so on till Cn. Okay. Using the values of G0 to Gn and P0 to Pn, we can generate all the carries from C1 to Cn. Okay, that is step 2. Now we have all the carries, we have all the Pi's, that means propagates. We can simply calculate the sum because formula for sum is XOR of Pi and Ci. Okay, one XOR gate will calculate one sum bit. That means it is a constant time operation. Now you have n sum bits. For all of the n bits of numbers, we need to perform a XOR operation. You need n XOR gates, but the thing is all of the bits will be calculated in parallel only. Okay, so there are n XOR gates working in parallel. That means one level only. Okay, so this is also a constant time operation. Now let's, uh, let's discuss this step two. How much time will CIs take to compute? You can see we need to implement all of these circuits from C1 to CN. Let us consider CN means C4. Okay, the value of N is equal to 4. Just for simplicity. You can see this circuit will be very small. It just needs one OR gate and one AND gate. Similarly, the complexity of circuit of C2 will increase. This will be even bigger circuit. The circuit for C4 will be the biggest one because this equation is very big. So we can just simply neglect these three and we'll only consider C4 because this is going to take the most of time. All of the carries are being generated in parallel. By the time C4 will be generated, we can be very sure that C1, C2 and C3 will surely have been generated. Okay. So we will only consider the time for C4. Okay. Now you can see in C1, you have maximum of two terms that need, uh, that needs performing a AND. Okay. In C2, there are a maximum of three items which we need to add. In C3, there are four. In C4, there are five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. In any term of C4, you have a maximum of five items that need to be ended together. Okay, that means for calculating C4, this term will be the hardest to compute. Okay, the circuit for this term will take the most of the time. Okay, see all of these AND operations. This one, I'm talking about C4. Now just concentrate on C4 because by the time you calculate C4, these three will be done. Now within the circuit of C1, sorry C4, this, this, this and this, they will be calculated in parallel. Okay, this one will be the fastest to be calculated because only two gates are required. This will take a bit more time. This will take a bit more time. This will take the most of the time. Okay. So by the time you calculate this term, you can be very sure that all of these terms are calculated. Okay. Now, our, all the focus is on calculating this term. Okay. 
we have already seen for C4, this term will contain five items that need to be ended. For Cn, this term will contain n plus one items. Okay, that's very uh, clear from these expressions. That means for n bit numbers, the biggest term will contain order of n terms. Okay, they contain n plus one terms, which can be written as order of n terms. That means a task is to perform and of order of n items. Okay, let us see how much time will this take. See for this term, you need to perform and of five items. Okay, you have five items that needs to be ended. One, two, three, four, five. That means approximately four items need to be ended. For ending four items, you can just use this circuit. Okay, that means two levels. This is order of log n. Okay, so the time complexity is order of log n. Option B is your answer, but I'm sure you didn't understand this term, uh, this point. Let me just take a bigger example. Say we are trying to calculate C16. Okay, the expression for C16 will contain 17 items that need to be ended together in its biggest term. Okay, there will be 17, 16, 15, so on, till one item. That means no AND gate will be used for this one. Now the item that contains 17 items, the term that contains 17 items can be approximated to 16 items only. That means for C16, you need to perform AND of 16 items. So you can see at level one, that means all of these gates are working in parallel. At level one, we have eight AND gates because out of 16, we are combining two, two items, okay. So you will be having 16 by two, that is eight AND gates. At this level, you are combining two, two items again. That means you will have four AND gates. So you have eight AND gates here, four AND gates here. Similarly, next level will contain only two AND gates. These two will be combined. These two will be combined like this. So you have two AND gates here and the final level is going to contain only one AND gate. Okay. All of these gates will be working in parallel. That means they will take one unit of delay okay one time unit similarly one time unit here one time unit here and one time unit here for c16 the most complex term requires a delay of four time units you can see for cn for calculating cn you have order of n items that need to be ended okay in the complex term all of these will happen by the time you calculate this one this term will have order of log n levels okay so these many items need to be ended the circuit will have these many levels that means each level contains a delay each level causes a delay of one time unit so the total delay will be order of number of levels. Number of levels is log n. So your answer is B part, which is log n. This much delay is caused. Okay. Now let us discuss a few more points. Okay. Let us analyze one more example. This, this was C16. What will happen in C32? In 32, level one will contain 16. Uh, items then you have eight items four two and one okay so you have one two three four five you have five levels for 32 items and 32 log log 32 is five okay 
so for 32 items you have five levels as well as log 32 is also five that means actually you have log n number of levels okay now next thing is some of you might get a doubt that even if by using log and time we have calculated this 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 as well as all the previous carries but still we need to perform these ors okay the thing is performing these ors will also take log and time only and the total time will be log n plus log n okay it is order of which will be order of 2 log n which will again come out to be order of log n only okay so your answer is order of log n now let us see how performing these ors will take order of log n time you can see for c4 we have one two three four we have four ors or actually we have one two three four five we have five items okay just it's just similar to this one we have we had five items here that need to be ended now after calculating all of uh, after calculation of all of these terms you have five items again that need to be odd okay so a similar circuit will be obtained it's just that these and gates will be replaced by or gates okay so after order of log n to calculate these terms okay all of these terms you will again use order of log n to perform this final or and get this value okay but order of log n plus order of log n will again give you order of log n only so you can see the total time will be order of 1 plus order of log n plus order of 1 which is actually order of log n only answer is order of log n okay yeah one more thing that i want to mention is if the fan in of gates is 2 okay then you will have like order of log n levels but if the fan in can be anything you can just perform this using one and one and gate with five inputs okay so all of these can be performed using one level okay single level to perform all of these and then one or gate to or all of them that means only two levels will be required for whatever value of n it is okay c32 will also require two levels that means only two units of delay in that case this step will also be order of one only okay so the total time will be constant but the thing is these gates the gates with fan n more than two are very expensive okay as the value of fan n increases the complexity for manufacturing those gates increases okay so those gates are not readily available that's the reason we mostly use two input or gates okay three input are available available four input are available but as the number of bits increases we might need like 100 input and gate okay those are very complex to manufacture and they are very dear okay okay so you might think that why did i showed you this circuit because i want to show you the analogy between this circuit and a binary tree you can see this one can be considered as root so these two children of root and so on uh, on the next levels we have two times the children's okay so there are two nodes there will be four nodes eight nodes 16 nodes and so on that means by just looking at this diagram you will be able to just guess that there will be order of log n levels if you have uh, n items on this level okay the lowermost level of a tree has n items that means total of order of log n approximately log n levels will be there there might be plus minus one okay 